Hubble telescope and other observatories. Mm. They say about 90% of the galaxies are small and faint. Wow. Look at that. So who's living in those galaxies? <laughs> yeah, such a little blip on the. Uh, that's the I know. That's right. right. We it's don't crazy. realize. A little yeah. tiny blip. Okay. What right. does the forecast look for the end of the week? In this galaxy, well, let's just <laughs> stick with this planet. How about that? <laughs> we can do that. Well, as, as we go throughout the overnight hours, mostly clear skies, and you know what? Not a bad day on Thursday. Yes, there were a couple of isolated rain showers, but overall it wasn't terrible. So we did top out at 69 degrees at Islip MacArthur Airport. That's about five degrees above the average of 64. Well, off that record, which was set back in. 1995 and look at that record low right at the freezing mark and not too long ago 2012 and our normal low this time of the year is around 46. That's more or less where we'll be throughout the overnight hours and into early Friday morning tonight. So satellite and radar across the northeast and Long Island looks nice and dry and as we go ahead in time though you can see that we do have the clear skies Friday morning. We'll start off the day with lots of sunshine. Friday afternoon looks really nice and not just for Friday but Saturday afternoon not much changes is still mostly sunny skies as we head towards Sunday. We'll start off with the sunshine, but as we go towards Sunday evening, we'll start to notice some increasing clouds and it's all ahead of this line of some showers you see back throughout Pennsylvania by Sunday evening that will be arriving across Long Island as we get on into the day on Monday. But until then, enjoy the dry weather clearing skies overnight mid 40s. So yes, you'll need the sweatshirt or the jacket overnight, even a little bit breezy too with that north wind at 10 to 15 miles an hour. So it could feel a few degrees colder than that on Friday. Friday, lots of sunshine around 61 in Hicksville for a hyperlocal high, 60 in Kings Park, 61 also in the East Hampton. So really not too much range of temperatures throughout the day Friday and still a touch breezy with that north wind at around 10 miles an hour. A look at our hyperlocal seven day forecast right on through the weekend. Gorgeous fall weather for any fall activities or doing anything outdoors. Sunshine 62 on Saturday, a touch milder on Sunday, 67 lots of sunshine. Then we deal with a couple of those scattered showers throughout the day on Monday. After that, it dries out nicely for the middle part of the week again and look at those nice temperatures upper 60s to the low 70s by that point we're really around 62 63 for this time of the year so can't get much better and one thing to note too as we head towards Friday night could get down to into the 30s in the Pine Barrens but look at those overnight temperatures by next week closer to 60. Okay.